got here? Box. You know what that means. Let's get this done. Alright, let's take a look at these carbon exhausts. So these are exhaust tips. Everybody probably knows. These are for my 2016 Hellcat. These come in black as well as chrome. I decided to go with the chrome. These are made to go right on the factory exhaust. Uh, they're really the definition of bolt-on. You just got to take the old ones off. These fit right over the uh, the exhaust coming from the resonators. So there's my factory exhaust. You can see that there's a pretty big gap around the diffuser. And this is a 2016, so the car is five years old and it has 65,000 miles on it. So those are pretty well worn. It's hard to keep them clean. So I'm gonna get this up on some blocks and We'll take a look at getting those off. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys. So here we are in the car. Now, these, this is the stock tip right here. You basically have to take off one bolt. You loosen that up. That makes this slide out from the, uh, the regular exhaust there. I said this car's got 65,000 miles on it, so I'm a little worried about this being rusted in there somewhat they say that you're supposed to take a rubber mallet to it to loosen it up i don't have a rubber mallet so i just have a regular piece of wood i put a rag on the end and i'm just gonna whack it with a regular hammer so let's give this a shot so i'm first gonna get that bolt undone all right so that bolt is a 13 millimeter so we're gonna give this a shot, take that off of there. Just as I thought, that thing's on there pretty good. There we go. That should be loose enough. Now let's give this a couple wax. I got it loose. Got to loosen this up a little more to get it off. Right, let's see. So there's the stock tip. Now let's see what that looks like compared to the uh, carbon. Okay, there's the stock tip next to the carbon. This is a three inch tip. This is a five inch tip. see the difference there I love how this is beveled it's still got the pitch like the stock one so the top sticks out a little farther but um, there's no difference with left and right on these so you just put them on so let's try to get this on all right so you really just got to kind of wedge this in there and then slide it back Pretty much just goes right in between this bracket and the uh, the exhaust pipe. Now, I'm not going to tighten it up yet. I'm going to do some, you know, some visual adjustments. I'm going to get the other one on, and then I'll come back and I'll tighten them up. So let's go do the other side now. Holy cow, that looks so much better. I haven't tightened them up yet, but so one thing you want to do, obviously, you want to try to get the the carbon so that it's lined up straight up. And then the other thing is that I want to try, try to leave a, a little bit of an even gap with the diffuser just so I don't melt it. That's one of the problems you hear of with some of these larger exhaust tips is that the heat ends up melting the, the plastic on the diffuser. So let's try to do that. 
the left one, when I unhooked, the, when I loosened up the old one, I didn't even have to whack it. It just uh, came, just hand loosened it. It just came right off. So that was good. All right, let's try to get these tightened up. Okay, I got them on. I gotta admit, they look so much better than the stock ones. So I try to leave a little bit of a gap around the edge. Now, one thing that kind of bums me out is that this one actually sticks out a little more than that one. It's kind of hard to tell, but there is probably about a half inch to a quarter inch to a half inch difference. And I tried every which way but loose to try to get those things in the same. I even swapped them around the other side to see if one might have been a little different than the other. But, you know, the exhaust itself is not even. And that's the problem. You can't, you can't force the, there's really no play. When you tighten these things up, they are locked in place. So you can't really pull it out a little bit and then tighten it up because when you tighten it, it just sucks it right back in because it's a curved, it's a curved connection, a beveled connection. So, but, you know, not too much I can do about that without, you know, adjusting the whole exhaust and, I'm certainly not going to do that myself so all in all i gotta say this is a very easy installation you really just need a 13 millimeter socket and a little elbow grease and it's done so i've been wanting these tips for a long time i want to thank wifey for getting them for me for my birthday what's better birthday present than car parts huh guys let's see what it sounds like guys if you have any questions drop a comment and uh, if you haven't already done so please hit that subscribe button I really appreciate it I'll see you on the next video